Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Pub Table Racers. My name is Tim Pankman. Sitting next to me is Warren Brosell. We hope you had a great Memorial Day, a good, safe one. Uh, appreciate you tuning us in tonight. Uh, Warren, why is there a bucket of beer in front of us? Uh, there's a bucket of beer in front of us because we like to sit around, talk about racing, and drink beer. And we use another highlight in honor of? In honor of our good friend Bobby Allison. And our hero Bobby Allison. Now, I forget to do this, so let's start it off right. Cheers to you and cheers, cheers. to you as well. And I got to sit. First one of the day. Okay, tonight's show, we got a great one. Um, our guest is Matthew Philpot. Hysterical has a great story. Uh, championship uh, Jackman. When you see this guy, you're like, look, I'm telling you what, but he gets it done. And he's worked at uh, Rick Hendrick Motorsports, RCR, Thor Sport, and now he's at Joe Gibbs Racing. We'll bring him on in a little bit. Um, all this great stuff he's done. Oh, uh, should we tell him? Uh, Saturday, we're going to be on about, we'll tell you about that in a minute. Uh, sponsors, let's talk about them. Talk about them. Uh, Darren at Rapid Removal, uh, check him out. All his great uh, twenty-yard containers. Yep. If you need it moved, he's got to take Can care. I use of my it. line. Get, use your line. Get it out. Your shit is his bread and butter. Exactly. But he doesn't combine it to <laughs> anyhow. A little lettuce and tomato, some cheese with it. Anyhow, they take care of him. Also, RacingJunk.com. As you see back there, buy, sell, trade. I was on there looking at some stuff today, and they definitely have everything you need. With wheels or um, and, and more and more and to me apparel, um, whatever, whatever you need, they have it. RacingJunk.com, and also our friends at the Garage Shop, Aaron Brown and the gang. Uh, this week's episode of the Garage Shop Insider featured our good friend Johnny, Johnny Benson. Benson. Uh, he was so good, we did it in two parts. So Tim handled that. that. Tim handles all of that. Thank you. So if you if you're tired of me here, you'd be really tired of me over there. We appreciate it. Uh, and then we have, of course, our number one, a number one. Uh, partner Lake Number Pay on Game Rooms, and Saturday and Brad's on tonight. Uh, Saturday we are going live. Live. We're going to be out and about, folks. We're getting back out to the people from noon. Live from Lake Norman. Lake Norman. It's Saturday, Saturday afternoon. afternoon. <laughs> Saturday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> from noon to one p.m. We're going to be there. Uh, come check it out. Right. Check out all the great. I'm Warren Brosell, and you're not. And you're not <laughs> exactly. Warren, you ignorant. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Some <laughs> people wouldn't get it. it, it Warren's both yeah, no, in the 70s. When it anyway, good. Exactly. No Coke, just Pepsi. <laughs> um, also, so we'll be out there and come out and check out all his uh, patio furniture, anorotic chairs, chaise lounges, fire pits, and game, game rooms. Room. Speaking of the game room. Accessories. Accessories and cool stuff to hang on your wall. Speaking of the game room, during the time we're there on Saturday afternoon, Brad is offering up, are you ready for this? A foosball table, also known as a foosball. Exactly. Uh, a foosball table, normally $1,000 for just $500. But if you got to get it then, while we're there, Saturday afternoon, yeah. we'll be there from 12 to 1. And with the money you save, you can buy hats from Pub Table Racers, shirts, tumblers, shirts, everything. We'll be there. So or run beer. While beer. You play <laughs> In case we run out, because <laughs> it's going to be Saturday <laughs> afternoon. So come out there. We're on, he's on Broadly School Road. Uh, right in your canvas back and oh come out we'll be there noon to one and I'll post some pictures up and the really great part about that our guest one of our guests our number one fan Tom Beatty is driving down from New Jersey on Thursday on Friday gonna come hang out with us be on the show now Warren I gotta tell you he is six foot six all right I'm gonna have to sit on something that's tall <laughs> say I'm six one six six <laughs> Five foot shit. <laughs> anyway, so he's going to be on. We're going to have some other people as well. So if you're out and about, come on. We, anybody and everybody watches the show, come out. We're going to have a good time. Of course, we're going to have the beer bucket there and everything else and uh, merchandise. So uh, Saturday afternoon, I'm telling you, a foosball table for 500 bucks. That's quite the steal. Right. We're going to bring some some uh, old door. We'll bring some door prizes okay, well, for people who come visit us. We'll do that. we got some old memorabilia okay. that we're going to give away. <laughs> and what we don't give away, Tom Beatty's taking home of him. He doesn't know that. <laughs> we'll be like Miller stuff, Tom. Uh, okay, we got that going on. So come out Saturday, check that out, have a good time there. Uh, we talked about all that. Let's talk about the um, first. Let's talk. Oh, real quick. We have a YouTube channel. We and do. What do people do if they go on our YouTube channel? What? They should subscribe. It's Which, free. Free. Just free. Free. Just hit the subscribe button. That's all. And uh, if you don't want to look at us, which I don't blame you, you can go to um, Spotify, Google, Apple Podcasts. Uh, I almost said apple pie. <laughs> apple podcast. <laughs> uh, a little leftover thought from the weekend. Uh, anyhow, um, and that's a good place to go just here. So if you're driving around, you just want to hear what we have to say, uh, you can do it that right. way. Then Appreciate you can that. listen to us in the car if you want. Yeah, exactly. Or if you're trying to go to sleep, because we put ourselves to sleep sometimes. So you can do that. 
Hey everybody, we really appreciate you watching us every Tuesday night on Pub Table Racers. And Warren and myself say thank you, but we need a thank favor. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, as Elvis would say. Cheers. Cheers. We need you to do us a favor. On our YouTube channel, just give us a subscribe. It's free. We appreciate it, and that's all we really need. Right. Also, check out our website. What do we have there, Warren? We have uh, clothes. We have uh, hats. Right. We have uh, tumblers. Tumblers, yeah. And, you know, anything else you need that <laughs> it has to say pub table race, we'll make it. And we have children's books, award-winning children's books, too, so check them out. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. YouTube, subscribe, totally free. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. Appreciate you. Uh, before we get to the NASCAR, I want to talk about the Indy 500. Let's do it. First of all, it was so awesome to see the, see the fans in the stands. That was absolutely incredible. 135,000 people. Yep, 135,000. And the, they were they went, it was a strong crowd, great weather. And Elon Castro and Evans, four wins. I mean, yeah. those closing laps, when he retook the lead, they were going crazy. He he uh, he he went he went after it and got it and and showed his strength and that is a, a slightly underfunded team mm -hmm. that he won with and um, it, it it's good to see that happen. Yeah. Michael Shanks racing. I hate to see the Penske <clears throat> cars lose, but if, right. if, well, I like to see a guy like that win. He's a great guy. Roger uh, sent him down the road for another option, but I give Roger credit. Uh, at the top of Victory Lane, there he was right yeah. there. He took him by the shoulders, had a great talk with him. But man, Roger's a class act. But the thing I liked is like, you know, he climbed the fence. The crowd's going crazy, and his excitement of four time, and he was just he, his excitement was great, and it carried over on the fans. And they were saying after the fans haven't left yet. The front stretch was still loaded up with right. fans, so that was good. Then we put on this cold cola six on. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, truck action that was what Friday night. Friday night. Um, John Hunter Nemechek. Uh, Kind of dominated kind again. Kind of dominated. Uh, they had a few wrecks in that one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Johnny Sauter's mm, pretty man. scary. Yeah. Can opener. Yeah. But uh, <clears throat> it was, uh, it finished up there. And I think John Hunter Nemechek, he says, why would you go from cup to truck? There's your answer. He's got another win. Yeah. He, he, he got in way better equipment. Mm -hmm. He's rekindling his career. Sure. Uh, one of, uh, another announcer that is on a, on a, on a show uh, I can't remember who it was, if it was Larry or, or if it was Jamie or uh, McMurray, but uh, somebody said it was kind of like Mark Martin when he when he left the Cup mm -hmm. and and went back to Wisconsin where he raced with myself and the Fennings right. and ran ASA and, and won a championship and right. and a lot of races and then uh, went back to Cup right. and and was completely successful. Yeah, you know sometimes you got to go backward to go forward. And, and anybody in the well, sport right. knows that right. that's what you do sometimes. As a driver or not. Uh, right. That's good. I just thought it was uh, good to see him that. Uh, Xfinity race, Ty Gibbs, unbelievable. Like, yeah, like pretty pretty impressive. Yeah, like it's like he's won twice out of, what, three tries already? Yeah. It, and he's only uh, part-time? You know, you can say what you want about, about the owner's son or about grandson, whatever. Yeah. yeah, grandson, whatever. Right. Um, but you still have to have the talent to beat all of these other guys uh, it's at that level you know it it's hard it, it gets harder to out money people right the higher up you go in this sport and and at that point you're 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 not really out money in people you're not out you know money in Penske and you're not out money in JR Motorsports and so that that talent's uh, pretty good there he, he showed a lot of poise you still have that <clears throat> piece between the wheel and the seat. Right. Has to get it done. And and uh, the there's a square small piece on the floorboard. It's on the right hand side. The gas pedal. That you have to push down <laughs> and not be afraid to use. And exactly. He, he, he yep. showed he knows how to use. Uh, he did. It was good. Um, we did that one, so he won that. And then he turns around and goes around and wins the Arca race. Right after that. Saturday night. I, I missed that one. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> We talk. We're have, we all have a little fun this weekend. Let's put it like that. We had to film a commercial <laughs> on Saturday. Saturday morning. We did Might that. Have affected it a little bit. <laughs> we started. We stopped for a post. Uh, we did one for uh, on tire tailgate system. Go see uh, uh, Steve Tidmore. Go check out on our YouTube page. We got a quick little uh, commercial there. So yeah. We got a big one coming out for him. But now we're doing product endorsement. So if you need your product endorsed, here we are. And you want to use us? We're usable. Well, we're, we're hireable. That too. We're hireable, yeah. <laughs> um, and then uh, shout out to Andy Jankowiak from Buffalo. Uh, top 10 one more time in the ARCA race. The car a month ago was an R Motorsports um, show car. 
They worked their butt off, got it together, and he gets it on the top ten. Three top tens in three races for him. So good for him, hoping for bigger things. Cup race, that got started. The pre-race was awesome. Pre-race was awesome. Very, and, always brings a, yep. as a veteran, brings yep. a little tear to the and, whole thing. And the, uh, the, the little thing they do where they stop that is, on pit road, yeah. that's a lot yeah. of respect there to give the, awesome. our veterans, and, sure. and that's really cool. I think it's, I mean, have that moment of silence like that. Right. Oh, what do you still have the race for? Zip it. Don't want to hear it. If right. you, do you want to get your ass beat, question that. Yeah. Ask a Marine that. Ask a Marine. Ask a Navy guy. Ask yeah. anybody who's lost someone recently or in the past, so that's good. Uh, all right, so the cup race goes... Holy Kyle Larson show. Uh, yeah, I'll say Holy Hendrick show. Holy Hendrick show, yeah. I mean, Chevrolets are right now, you know, uh, the Hendrick Chevrolets Hendrick are Chevrolet. definitely in a league of their own. Um, all the Chevrolets were really, really fast. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I think First, our, second, the fourth, top fifth. finishing Ford was 10th, yeah. and, and it was a Roush car. It wasn't even mm -hmm. our one of our Penske yeah. cars. Um, Kyle Busch finished third, right? And I think on the radio they said, "How can? How, what do you need to pass him?" He says, I just, "I'm going to have to just wreck him." That's the only way I can pass him. <laughs> well, he said we stopped on his ass except the hundred hundred cars. So <laughs> right. That's all right. And then uh, uh, shout out to uh, Richard Chillis Racing, where ourselves and our guests coming up, and we've all worked. They had uh, two in the top ten as well. Yeah. So yeah, um, I think Radical is going to. He's about due. I think he's going to bust one out this year. That's what I think. Yep. Hope he doesn't get in the playoffs. That'd be good. Um, in case we got that, that, what did we miss? That's it? Yeah, uh, uh, I'll say this. Oh. Coke 600 was a little bit of a snoozer. <laughs> so if anybody... <laughs> yeah, we, we don't want... That's all we'll say. Okay, it, we don't want you a little bit of a... Right. I mean, it's 600 miles, but... <laughs> Right. Sometimes that 600 miles has more than three cautions. <laughs> yes. But Kyle Larson yeah. won every single stage. Beat everyone's ass, and then what's he do the next day? Gets in a dirt car, and he wins that sprint race. On a dirt track, so he's on a roll. And apparently, he wasn't tired. No, he wasn't tired. No, I'll do it again. <laughs> I was Sunday. I, could, I mean, Sunday. I was. wasn't doing nothing Monday. <laughs> I think we all had a good, we were talking. We had a good Sunday, but yeah. Saturday. So well, it, was a, it was a long day. Little Tom, little Tom Beatty gets it done on Saturday. I, mean, I, I didn't smoke a brisket. No, but you keep just, it lit. Well, that's what I was going to say for everybody who's it, they're hard as hell alight, <laughs> right. and to roll that thing up, it was like I, I didn't. You know, it's meat. How do you? <laughs> I just said when my feet you know, was waiting. Right. <laughs> I had the pizza guy, on, you know, on hold. All right, enough of this monkey business. Right. Um, anyhow, speaking of entertaining, let's keep it rolling. Our guest tonight, a uh, great guy, uh, awesome character, uh, been in the sport for years. Yeah. Uh, Matthew Philpot, friends of both of ours for a long time. This is the part, Matt, where you get up, and you start running towards it, and uh, he's going to join us. And uh, he has been in the truck series. He's been now. Don't sit down real quick. Right. I'm going to stand right, up right, right here. Go ahead. Is a championship jack man. We're gonna to get to that in a minute. Right. That's it. So How tall are you, Matt? Not tall enough. <laughs> <laughs> For what? For I mean, I'd say five feet. You're tall enough four. to be a jockey. You're just a little yeah. thicker. Yeah. <laughs> we have, we have, we have a little padding on you. Could you join? We'd like to join us in a beer. I would. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. That's it. It's not mandatory, but you know, we prefer so it. So let's just say this. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. That's Matt it. is well under six foot. Right. And and he's a championship jack man. Uh, I don't need that anymore. On a truck team. Right. Was, yeah. We'll get to that. First well, of all, we all was something <laughs> at one time. Thanks for being on. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Okay, where are you originally from? Tracy, California. Okay, how did you get your start interest in racing? Uh, my family race still races today, so we, um, <clears throat> yeah. Well, sure. yeah. Okay, got it. <clears throat> so my little, my dad, or my grandfather, my dad raced. Were they raced where? Late model stocks, Stockton, California. Okay. They raced Altamont, um, Roseville, California by Sacramento. Um, so since I've been born, they've raced asphalt late models and kind of did the baseball thing as a little kid, me and my brother and always at the shop, always racing. Uh, my dad did a lot of racing. My cousin Ryan still races today. My little brother races late model stocks today. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's been in the family. It wasn't a just wake up one morning and go sure, racing. Right. It's, it's the only thing we've You're ever born known. Yeah, it's the only thing we've ever known. So we, um, the tools, the the fabrication, the, the working, the, the whole deal come from my dad and the epic grandfather. Knowing what you have to do, right? Yeah, a lot of work. You got to, if you, I mean, if you want to go fast, you got to work on it. Right. You know that. <clears throat> so. So at what point did you say, hey, this is a fun hobby. I want to make this a career. Um, I was, I left out of high school to go play baseball in uh, down south in California for a couple of years. And then mm -hmm. I got. What position you play? Catcher. 
And then I played in Jackson, Tennessee for a couple of years. And when I realized I wasn't going to go pro and right. nobody wanted me anymore, <laughs> I come home and uh, a junior joiner, who's a crew chief for Crafton, we grew up Man on the West, yeah, we grew up on the West Coast racing together. He called me and they were starting a fourth truck team for Dakota Armstrong on the ninety eight. Okay. Said, hey, we can use some people. Are you in your in a time in your life where you can truck come out and try it out? And I went there and I said, yeah. So I went there and never to Ohio. Back. Yeah. It so how old were you when you done? Oh man, 26, 27, somewhere in there, I don't know. And then I <clears throat> went there, never come back. So it was- Never went back to California. Never went back to California. No. Really? Nope. Okay. Uh, so we got comments, because you obviously have a big fan club here, because we have a lot of viewers. So uh, Mike Wiggleman says, top notch, hard to beat family. Yeah. There you go. Now, I'm not, I don't mean this in a bad way, but are you all, are you, are you like- uh, My dad's six foot. My brother's 5'10 or 5'11. Right. My grandparents, I think I get my height from my grandfather. Okay. He's about 5'5. Five, five. Okay. Uh, so I think it comes from there. But yeah, my I guess my brother and my dad are normal. I guess <laughs> no, no, I, I was I'm just crazy because if you're all the same stature, then yeah. racing and everything together. So And apparently you got the, was that a college ball you're playing? Or? Yeah. Wow, really? So, so it's not bad. You're, 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 you're athletically inclined. Um, I, I guess yes, yes. <laughs> you know, don't be mad. You yeah. can be a little. Yeah, you know. I played sports all my life: football, right. basketball, baseball, my whole life. And I noticed you didn't say. <clears throat> did you say basketball? And uh, I never played basketball in high school. I never did either. So, like in eighth grade, is where the cutoff was, where people started to get a little bigger. And right, I, so right. It's like okay, this yeah. is it for me. When I couldn't get the ball in a hoop anymore, <laughs> yeah, the net was. <laughs> then I was like, this, I was this thing's been ten foot the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so See, yeah. you played sports. I always joke. I was on the teams. Big difference. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So football and baseball were the main deal in high school. And then when high school ended, baseball was the main deal right. with racing. My dad was what they used to call the Southwest Tour Series. Mm -hmm. And uh, now it's called the SRL out on the West Coast. My dad raced a little bit of that. And um, so, yeah. Good deal. All right. So the call goes, you go to Ohio, you're working with Matt Crafton for sport racing. Yes. When I went to Ohio, <clears throat> um, I met my wife. And, ah, um, good. Her name? Her name is Brooke, and uh, we now have two beautiful daughters. Congratulations. Peyton and Madison. Good. How old are they? Five and three. So was she into racing when you met her? No, oh, she didn't know nothing go. about it. So, so you had yeah, a uh, I drug her. Yeah, drug her through this whole... Now, she's still getting drugged through the whole deal, so... Uh, All right, I was like, a, she wasn't into racing, so how'd you meet her? Uh, she was at working at a restaurant, and we mm -hmm. went there, and um, that's about how the whole thing Got happened, so... Right. Next year, she's married to her. <laughs> Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> well, we a, you know what? When I'm, you know what I'm flying, I'm thinking. No, no, no. So, you're, you're, so you, you meet her, you're meter, you up there. Now you're you're working in Sandusky, Ohio, Sandusky, Ohio, Ohio, right out there on Lake, Lake, Lake Erie. Yep, exactly. Yep. I know the other right part. On, right on. That, we grew up in yep. the same water with the lake, the yep. buffalo up there. Yeah. Um. So the team's up there, and then so you worked there for how many years? I worked there for five years. Okay, and you won how many races, championships? Uh, we won a, a few races. I don't really know off the top of my head. Won two championships, 13 and 14. Won a truck championship with Matt Crafton. on the 88. Yep. And what was that like, knowing that you left California? To... <laughs> it was everything you could. I mean, you go to do something to win. Your dream came true. Right? Yeah, like if you can race for a living from somebody who comes from racing as a hobby and going every Saturday, right. but you're telling me I can get up on a Monday and go work on race cars and somebody's going to pay me on a Friday, like, right. hey, I'm all about it. So, right. so you're there a couple of years and... Yep, went to Ohio, uh, raced there, and then went to, uh, got a call from Danny Stockman to get a job on the three car for uh, Ty Dillon. On the truck? Nope, on the, the car. Xfinity car, okay. the Bass Pro car. I think we had Yingling and Bass Pro. Right, okay. I remember, I remember the <clears throat> And... Um, Worked there for a couple years. Well, wait, you told us before. When did you get the call that they wanted From to go to the show? When did Stockton? When did, when did Stockton? Uh, Stock yeah, go ahead. At my rehearsal dinner now. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. And, uh, tell, tell me what happens. Yeah. Well, we were, <clears throat> we're in my grandparents' garage at our rehearsal dinner in uh -huh. California. And just phone rang and kept ringing and kept ringing. And right. I finally said, do you want to come work here? And I said, well, yeah. I'm, I'm getting married tomorrow, but I gotta, <laughs> I'll gotta. i call you back and we can get the details handled. What did you tell Brooke? Um, we're going to move. Well, we were already moving to North Carolina, Okay, but we just changed jobs in a matter of 20 minutes. Yeah, I think I was going to work for Marcus at Red Horse and then... Oh, for the... Uh, uh, the for Marcus Richmond yeah, at Red, Red, Red Horse. Red Horse racing yeah. now. I don't think Red Horse is... No, they're not existent. Tom DeLoach owns that deal. But right. 
Yeah, we, um, we just... Wait, so you're at your rehearsal dinner. Yep. You get the phone call. Yep. And did you tell her then, or did you wait, or did you just say... No, hey. I, yeah, I think I told her, like, hey, I think Stockman wants to hire me. Danny Stockman at Richard Childress Racing. And she said... Well, yeah. Like, okay. we're already moving there, Perfect. so I guess... Right. Well, I okay. trust you, is what probably she said. I trust whatever you think. Really? That's, yeah. yeah. That's true love. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, you got it all raised. Someone said from what you were telling us. Yeah, it's a good... It's a good yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. James Brenner said to use the Philpot charm. Phil charm. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I probably used that on Jimmy a couple times. <laughs> huh? <laughs> no, we don't want to know. Anyhow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, so you're at your rehearsal dinner, and you find out you know, you're coming here, and you're going to work at Childers. Yep. Okay. And your job there was... Tires. I did okay. tire. Uh, so, come on. You were a jack man on those championship trucks. Yeah, teams. we had to do both. So, we had to work on it during practice and right. all that. We were the road crew during practice and get it through tech. And if he wrecked it or whatever, we had, right. there wasn't really too many people involved. Right. There was one crew. So one crew. Like, like, everything. Everything. All encompassing. Yeah. So, then once you got your truck through tech at, before qualifying, you would hurry and go set your pit box up. Right. <clears throat> and if you had to glue tires up or right. however you did it, you had to get that, you had to get prepared to race. So mm -hmm. yeah, there's other obligations as far as tires and pit box and all that stuff to get ready to go, and then. So and I, don't, just, we had Ed Watkins sitting here a few weeks ago. Yeah. You know Ed Watkins? He's big. Yeah, he gas walks man. in. Yeah. He eclipsed. Yeah. And he was a jackman. Yeah. And then now he fuels right. Now he fuels yeah. now. As a jackman, how did that come about? Um. Short straw? Or was it well, just you someone try that? Or? I wanted to try it. Okay. And I, I mean, at the time, I felt like I could do it, but it's. Um, I guess if you. You have to be goal or, I guess, driven. If you want to do something, I, there's only one way to do it, and that's to put the time and effort into doing it. Right. right? Good. Because if you put all the effort in and you don't succeed, then at least you can't go back and say, I didn't give it what I had. Sure. <clears throat> and uh, we practiced a lot over there in Ohio. We had, it was, there was times where we had to, you know, you got to get away from work mm -hmm. to go practice because if you don't go practice, then you're going to go to the racetrack and you're going to get beat on pit road, and that's, there's nothing more frustrating than putting the effort in the truck. Right. And then you get beat off pit road when you. So, so, so I'm going to say this. So, you and I are, are approximately the same height. Mm -hmm. You're, you're, you're uh, a lot wider than me. And, Thanks. and, and I know at that point in your life, you were probably a lot, it was a lot more uh, of, of strength. Yes. Than, than it was <clears> just <throat> weight. Yeah, and and did you have to do anything special with your handle? Was it longer? Was it? Yeah, it was a long handle, but it was an eight and three quarter stroke, which now guys I think on pit road use a ten inch jack. I'm explaining that so people know. What's yeah, so like as eight and eight and eight and three quarter inches as far as on one stroke, one, as far as pump. the the post mm -hmm. comes or the okay. pad of the jack is right. lifted up. Now so the guys, yeah. on the car, right? Yeah. And so the, I'll mm -hmm. I'll say this: what he had to do was a pump and a bump. On the left side. On the left side. Yeah, the right side is lighter. So tell it, because I know some of this terminology. Tells, yeah, tell they tell have, folks what that is. You would do one stroke on the right side. One full. Down. Yep, right. down. And then when you drop it and run to the left, you would do one full one and then a half and a just, just to make sure you get Just it. to make sure you get the tires <laughs> off the ground. Like some racetracks are different. Right. They run along tether or however. The droop is yep. a lot bigger yep. on the left rear. So you would have to do certain techniques, but... They would pay for your in Ohio. They pay for your gym membership, and they expected you to go work out, yeah, and yeah. do that stuff. But it really taught you how to how to do it all. Like from from when you walked in the gate to when you left, it, it was you were the whole. Yeah, you had to do everything. Yeah, you're expected roofer. to do everything. You were a, a roofer. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And we had a good group of guys now that are still racing that are that were that could say tell the same story. Man, right. we had a good group of guys, and it was it was a lot of fun for us. A first experience, everyday mechanic doing stuff, racing for a living. I couldn't ask for a better experience. In, in 13 and 14, was that, how many years was Thor Sport in the business at that point in oh, Sandusky? <clears throat> True. I think they, they were the first truck team. They started when the truck series started. But were they always in Sandusky? Yes, or? never moved. Oh, never moved. Never moved. Okay. They were in the back of a mill right. where they would make their own. That's kind of grown is what I'm getting at. And so, I yes. And then they had a, sh they bought the, sh the building. It was an old uh, meat slaughterhouse. Okay. It was two stories. It was 100,000 square feet of upstairs and 100,000 square feet of basement. And he gutted it. It got run over by a tornado. Right. When it mm -hmm. got leveled by a tornado, Duke bought it and revamped it with the help okay. of Menard. Now, wasn't there a fire somewhere or was that after you? That was after I left. Okay, fire. Yep. Yeah, I had nothing to do with fire. I just had to do with my toolbox. <laughs> You're trying to get me back. <laughs> right, I don't want to get down. <laughs> wasn't going to get you back. I was like, Dan, I had a similar cigarette. So you, you, it's your rehearsal dinner, you're getting married, and all of a sudden you get this call, Danny Stockman, yep. come to work, you turn to Brooke and say, hey, 
Yep. We're going to RCR and... I had a buddy that worked for Stockman that was from California. He was his car chief, Robert Stramiska. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's how it kind of came about. He, yeah. I'm sure that he put a good word in and said, hey, there's a guy that that's I know good. that could work in. Okay. So and you me... know, you know, um, a bug, I can call him Bug. Yeah, Bug. Um, from uh, California? Yes. Okay. You were from... Because Stockman's California, yeah. Vegas guy too, so... He's a Southern California, uh, Danny is Robert Stramiska, we call him Bug. It, his family and my family still race against each other. Oh, his nice. Brother and okay. They still, okay. Yes. Okay, good. So, yeah, it's a big family deal back there where we grew up. The Schmiskas and the Philpots are... So, uh, that connection. Yeah. Came through. That's, that's, that's nothing to do with quests. No. No. The guys are dark. Get the, <laughs> get the part of Cal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a long state. Yeah. So, and here's the thing that people need to realize. That, so, you're obviously your work ethic, your personality, your, you know, the success you had that was noticed by people on Pit Road. I think so. And, and, you know, what you're willing to do. So that's what got the call. And then you go from trucks and you go to Xfinity. Yep. With a yep. Ty Dillon on, Dillon on it. it. Yep. Yingling. Yep. It yep. was Yingling Bass Pro Car. Yep. We did that for a couple of years. And then... Um, and that's what we all worked together at our yep. at the time. We were yes. all there. Yeah. From mm -hmm. 15, 15 to 18, I worked at Childress. Okay. And I worked on... Man, I worked on everybody's car there in the Xfinity <laughs> series except Brennan Gunn. Okay. Except all right. Brennan yeah, right. 62 was the only one I never So let's go back to Kraft and what's like working with him. He's great. Great guy. Great guy, man. He's a California guy too. Right. His dad and my dad raced against each other, Matt, and actually my dad. That's kind of, was, I just thought about that because yeah. you said the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, Matt was racing Southwest Tour and right. my dad was racing Southwest Tour. So did that help you gel with that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he knew where I, I mean. Good. Yes. Yeah, Matt. Matt's a good dude. He was. Um, and the Menards are phenomenal. Oh my gosh. And yeah, we John. couldn't have, I mean, obviously they're, they've been behind Matt for right. years and now with Pinsky and Ryan. Yeah. They got their name on Brandon Jones's car that yep. I work on yep. over there, and it's like, man, it's. <laughs> well, you gotta do some of all that. I guess so. Advertising like, money, yeah, can't advertising, burn it. Yeah, <laughs> can't take yeah. it with you. Like, <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, all right, so then you, then you go from Kraft and you go to Ty, another laid back guy. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, Ty was a good guy to work for. Uh, funny story, remember with him? Funny story with Ty. Um, I don't really have one with Ty. Uh -huh. Ty was always business when it come to racing. And yep. when, um, yeah, the quiet, I mean, quiet, yeah, quiet approach. Both the boys were. I yeah. mean, it was. They separated the family deal to the racing deal mm -hmm. as far as at the racetrack working and, and racing. They took mm -hmm. it very serious, and it, as we did too. You know, I mean, we were there to win, and um, I never won with. I don't think I ever won with Ty. Um, Brickyard? No, that was a year before I got oh. there. But um, yeah, I won a couple races with Austin um, in the thirty-three Ream car. Okay. With uh, I think we won Charlotte. Vegas. Uh, Vegas. I remember that one? I forget the other one we. Yeah. But okay. yeah, we that was with. Um, that was with Stockman. Okay. And uh, did you go get go to that party with me? The Vegas party. <laughs> when you I did not go. Yeah. One. Oh, yeah. How did that get big? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't get any trouble here. <laughs> it just got big. It just got big. Right? So it's good. Yeah. So along the way, like, and you obviously enjoy what you do. I do. You do, and and it comes through in your personality and all that. Ever had that? Well, actually, what you were talking about, you never had that, man, I'm out of here, I'm, I'm going back to California. No. Never turn back. No, I like the, um, I like North Carolina, and working on race cars, and having, I've been very blessed to go from Ohio mm -hmm. to Childress, where, man, I, you learn every day, but. You feel like family up there, too. I don't care what anybody says. Is that Childress? Yeah. Yes. It's, I, 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 you know, I, mean, I, I have no regrets me, for anything. No, that if ever, I if you'd asked me in 16, probably, I probably would have told you I would working there for us forever time. yeah but at so the end of the day it's a business you'd ask me that in 16 i would have said yeah until they fired me <laughs> <laughs> yeah well then they fired me probably <laughs> oh, you, you, you were what same day uh, i got i got it i got it in 18. i, I, okay. I was gone in 18 too <laughs> on the same day but it, but it wasn't like we did something wrong no it, it was, was just the business. way to business yes just the business and side. you understand that absolutely so then um, I went to Hendrick when that happened. Long speed. All right, so Rebecca, real quick, uh, Gordon, uh, Julie Hayes, Gordon yeah. said, Gordon family says hi to Matt. See you at the race. Yeah, the right. Gordon family went to school with their uh, son and right. good family friends, and they go to Phoenix with their good. home and stuff. So perfect. Nice. Yeah, good people. All right, so so you're at RCR, and then all of a sudden you get a call. Did you reach out? Or so no? I uh, no, I did not reach out. Well, I you got dumped like got me. Dumped. Okay, right. Um, oh, so you got reached out. Yeah, right. got, yeah. you had to reach right. out. So I, yeah, was, I yeah, it's, I was. I did it on my own, but that was a little story. I wanted to take over a racetrack, but go ahead. <laughs> they, uh, yeah, they laid us off. They had, I think they had 200 and something people lay off. It was, yeah. yeah it was, it was they were doing it in like, in, in, yeah. 
a hundred, uh, fifty here, fifty here, yeah. fifty here, exactly. whatever. Yeah. I mean, they could have done it on a Monday at like eight o'clock. At least I could have had. My I got mine on a Monday. I got mine on a Friday at four. Thanks mm. for letting me work all week. Yeah, <laughs> I got mine on a Monday, and I I, I, I made a couple calls, and I threw my golf clubs <laughs> in the back of my car, yeah. and I went to uh, Myrtle Beach. They're always scheduled three times. <laughs> I remember he goes, he calls me, and he goes, I just got my call from Chosen. Oh man, he goes, yeah, I think I'll be okay. Four hours later, <laughs> playing golf in Myrtle Beach. He's going to be fine. Yeah, he'll be fine. Yeah, he'll be fine. All right, so was that the first time that it happened to you? Yes. Okay, so, and I, well, so I, want, I want you to talk about this because... Well, you don't know. I just built a house. So we just built a house in Lexington. Lexington? And okay, because you were committed to staying up that way. Absolutely. I okay. thought I was going... For yeah. Right. So we thought you were going to be there. Yeah, my wife and I built a house. It was our first house together mm -hmm. as a married couple and we had our daughter yeah she's five now but at the time you know it's like oh man what's so, what's what's going so, on so was it like sure because people it's very it's scary yeah and it's it's a, it's disheartening and it's it is scary yeah. so it, it is, happened i think i want to say the first week of november mm -hmm. and then it um i go to the snowball derby every year with uh derek thorne mm -hmm. from california and go help him at the derby and um so i went there and i'm like i gotta go it's gonna it's good money to go there and help right. him out and um Plus, you got to get your face out there. Got to, yeah. Okay. You just and, can't uh, curl up in a ball. No, so you got to. There's something you've been yeah, doing. Right. So you went to the Yeah, derby, somebody yeah. gets you with a with a right hook. You know what I mean? You got to get yeah, back up. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So you it's, take uh, a handful of whatever these no. pills they're giving you. <laughs> go crawl in bed. Go find your safe spot. That's right. Go find your safe spot. Because now this works. Just run some dirt on it and get back out there. That's right. That's right. Yeah, we got to. Go again, you know what I mean? When when one closes, the other one opens. Yeah, exactly. So you went to the derby, yeah, what happened? Yeah, I went to the Derby, and then um, the car chief on the 48 for Jimmy Johnson called me, which I worked at Thor Sport with him. Okay. And now he said he's been injured that, for eight years. Was that was Jesse uh, Saunders. Oh, Jesse. Yeah. yeah. So, and this, this is what I'm trying to tell these people. So you have these moments where you're devastated. Like when I got let go from, I won't tell the team, but it's closed now. And you're like, and it was like oh middle of the year. And you're right. Like, what the hell? Yeah. And after I gave up something that I yes. worked so many years to get to, and then you got there and... You have a house and you have a just built and a yeah. kid and, yep. and it's you, you got to go home and say, hey, honey, here's what happened. You know, yeah. once once you're in this sport, if if you're a good person, if you do good work, you know, and and, and, right. you, and you network, you got to network, you got to network, you got to you got to yeah. you got to let everybody know. I feel are. like yeah, you can never burn a bridge in this sport. No, absolutely not. If you burn a bridge, no. I think it'll always come back to get you. Yeah, yep, I agree. So, I agree 100%. so all of a sudden now you get a call from Jesse called me and I was at the derby and. Um, hey man, uh, we're hiring on this deal. Kevin Mindering mm -hmm. just took over the 48, which Kevin was a crew chief at Junior Motorsports on the one for Elliott Sadler mm -hmm. at the time, and then they moved him in the Junior Hendrick umbrella. Mm -hmm. They moved him into that deal. They were hiring an interior guy, and so I, um, I'm like, man, get let go and go work for Jimmy. Like I'm, I'm all in. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. And all of a sudden you get a call from so, Hendrick, and so yep. there you go. And it's. And then I live in Lexington, and it's in Concord, so it's a 45-minute drive, and I'm right. like, whatever, mm -hmm. we'll figure it whatever. out. Whatever, like, it's fine. It's but just 45 minutes away. Right. And then the cup race, I did that for a year, and man, working for that guy is incredible. Are you ready for an upgrade? Need to refresh that patio? Want to add more fun to your home? Lake Norman Patio and Game Rooms makes it fun to stay at home. We offer a huge selection of high-quality outdoor furniture, pool tables, shuffleboard, ping pong, and much, much more. Your oasis awaits. So don't miss the boat. Take your patio or game room up to the next level. Lake Norman Patio and Game Rooms. Stop in today or visit us online at lknpatio.com. So now you've gone from California, Thor Sport, Lex Childress, yep. Childress yep. Legendary Sport Hall of Fame owner, yeah. Hendrick, yep. Legendary Sport Hall of Fame owner. But to the Hall of Fame, a, a seven-time winner. <laughs> right. Seven time. to, to be his interior person. Right. Yeah. The, you which know, to be you and him had a talk like what do you need what do you want yeah to make that right so we could get in there and yep yeah he was, uh, okay this is pretty cool see i said it a lot but at the end of the day you still have a job to do uh -huh. so right you yeah. have to put your nose in the grind so you, you have still to perform yes sure. and um as far as that i mean you talk about being an athlete or you were saying you know you got to be that dude is a, is a specimen oh like, yeah oh, like just a machine yeah i mean you ride a bicycle to guam and then <laughs> swing back <laughs> You know, up the Atlantic coast and then drive right. 600 miles. Who races you know? spot 400 miles, 400 laps at Richmond, a night race. Right. Gets on a plane and then goes and runs the Boston Marathon the next day. Exactly. Yeah. So it's yeah. like, and then completes the marathon, but he's upset because it wasn't in the time that he won. Right. 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 You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, come on, man. Here's how I want to watch the marathon. <laughs> 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 run! 
the TV there. Faster. So, so now you're, you're in Hendrick and you're, you're, your weight yeah. races and your part uh, of We won the clash. Won the clash. Right, we sorry. didn't win for 36 weeks. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's right, that, sorry, was a, that was a struggle at the end of his career. Yeah, was, but you're still working for a legend. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I, mean, I mean, you talk about being. All Hendrick was struggling at that point. It was. Yep. Not now. Yeah, what, what, was your part, what was Jimmy's demeanor? I mean, he tried to stay up during the whole Very thing. competitive. Yeah. Very, very goal oriented person that was the best motivator you can ever work for without shouting. Really? Like just his, a knob just, without being a dick. Just his demeanor would motivate you more than you could ever right. imagine. Describe that because not a lot of And Chad, we, no, Chad was gone. Chad was, okay, was on gone. the 24th. All right, all right. Yeah, uh, we had Kevin Mentoring and then Kevin, all right, like, yeah. oh, and then Cliff Daniels come. And, um, so what was about Jimmy that made you? It didn't matter. Out? Like, if you needed, he if you finished 12th, you had a 12th place car. Right. If you finish second, you had a second place car. Right. You know what I mean? And it was that because you know you, that's what that's what you got because he's given you two hundred percent everything he's ever had and more. Right. As far as right. do you have a, do you have a funny non racing story with him or no that you can tell? Uh, Did he take you out to dinner ever? Yeah, we went to his uh, warehouse where he keeps all his memorabilia. Okay. And, um, warehouse. He needs a warehouse. Yeah. Just, well, he had a one has a man cave. Yeah, I, got it. I have a second. I got it. <laughs> Yeah, I got a 10 by 10 shit out of my hands. <laughs> and I got a couple boxes. With one bill, I have two in the house. You want to see my trophies? Yeah. Does he have a bar? <laughs> so right yeah. team kick off like right. dinner, yeah. and uh, he owns the Mexican, rest- Mexican restaurant in South Charlotte. Yeah, I've been there for uh, Hornaday's. Um, What's it called? When he went in the South, Hall of Fame. Southbound. Yeah, when he went in the okay. Hall of Fame, uh, Jimmy hosted the party there afterwards. Yeah, okay. And um, he had it catered, and we got to. He's got yeah. like the. What was that car, the nationwide car that he hit the wall head on at the Glen? Alta? Uh, Alta. Uh, was it an Alta no. car? No. Herzog uh, owned it. It was a Herzog car. It was a phone right? company, yeah. No, it was a. Uh, yes, I'll, no, I'll tell. Was no, it wasn't. I want to say it was a headache Whatever. company, wasn't it? Headache powder? I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, anyway so that, that car. He paid to get that thing restored. <laughs> and it's the same <laughs> chassis with a pristine body on it. And but it's like, not, yeah, this is the one. Up? No. Oh, this is the one I almost died in. This is the one I almost died in, he'll tell you. But he's got his first dirt bike, and he's got all these cars lined up. In the warehouse. In the yeah. warehouse, yeah. and every one of them's on a trickle charger. So at any time of the day, you can push a button and fire any and of them up. start it. <laughs> that's perfect. That's a perfection. That's, that's yeah. fine. That's but he's, good. Yes, and he's got, just to walk around the walls of that place, as far as the 10 miles of monsters, the 11, whatever he's got, Montanville clocks, the 84 checkered flags. <laughs> Each checkered flag is in a separate frame and they're all around there and then he's got celebrity guitars and stuff sure, like that. right but right. man just to walk around there and look at that stuff was pretty cool 84 wins that's right him and, so technically him and bobby Ellison are tied technically if you're but right Bo- yeah. bobby has he's claimed one more yes that's another story but i mean to be around him. we're gonna have to get bobby out there for you I mean, you got to go back to, you know, California, the family racing. Right. And you're walking around that. And, and, and now where you're at with this. Yeah, yes. and you have those moments where you walk around and go, geez, how the hell did I get it? Yeah. yeah. Well, um, just. That's feel good stuff right there, just right? Just passion, I guess yeah. you could say. Like, the, if I was going to narrow it down to one word, just passion. I've had passion about, I don't normally, I guess if you do something, if I want to do something, I'm all in. Right. But if I tell you I'm going to do something, I'm probably all in. Right. But being, I guess, short statured or not the biggest or the tallest or the fastest or whatever you right. had to work harder than the next guy Absolutely. to make it so i think that, that carried over to what right. i'm doing now right. as far as working on a race car for a living right and being a good person outside the racetrack and at the racetrack yeah. says hey man he might not be the most talented but i'm gonna i'm gonna hire him because he's a good person and there's less bullshit involved yeah us, us short right. guys are always voted most likely not to succeed because we're short right but People don't realize that we're going to put 150 percent right. of our our attitude into doing something right. right doing something now, good. not to say that I don't have your moments. Re- well, yeah, like I will. I still wake up, wake up, and get out of bed and want to go to work. So sure. when that ends, yeah. then you got to start reevaluating your life. But I'm still mad when we don't win at, at the racetrack. But mm-hmm. at the end of the day, it's you, you got next week. So then you got to put your focus in the right. next week's car. There's always going to be a next week. When we were racing as a hobby back in California, it was sure. like, shit. we got to go to our everyday yeah. job yeah. till Thursday night or whatever. You know what I mean? You wait for the and when you're 56, you wake up and then you later a little bit. You go, <laughs> my knee hurts. 
<laughs> you can have this one. Sounds like Rice Krispies. <laughs> 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 Yeah. So the one thing I, I remember about you. I got a pee. I don't know if I want to get up and do it or not. Oh, no. <laughs> That's it. All right. Yeah, I just did. Did. Yeah. Yeah. Anyhow, but the one thing I remember about you is that you, and don't take this wrong, because when I was at Children's, you know, I was the director of corporate communications, and you know, I was working is that with what Richard. You did there? Yes. Oh, I didn't know That's that. one of my business card. What they handed out cards. Yeah, That's it. But they, they, uh, but I remember because you, and because I was so close to Richard, I, when people want to talk to me. I don't know if it was because they want to talk to me or because they wanted me to tell him something, which I never did. I never, ever mm-hmm. went to him. But you were one of the guys who were so nice and so outgoing. I was like, what's up? Is, he, is there? But then I can realize that's just your nature. I'm like, yeah. oh, yeah, that's cool. And you were one of those guys that I was always happy to see. Yeah. So you show me how you doing. Hey, hey, Tim, what's up? Hey, all right. And you were always, like, just happy to be there. Uh, always a good attitude. I'll right. say And there thing. was other guys that were just miserable pricks. And they pissed him over wine. I'm like, right. Do you realize where you are? Where you working? Yeah. What's They're going mad on? during the racing because, business. Yeah, because I can go outside and there's people standing outside with resumes going, hey, what's it take to work here? Yeah. And that's it. So I, I commend you on I will cheer you on that. Thanks. One thing Cheers. You Thank you. For. Yes. Keep Always a great attitude. attitude. Uh, Mary Stevens, who seems to be our stat master here. All tell was Jimmy's 2000 sponsor. Okay, there we, you were right. All tell was. Did you all get that moment? Warren said I was right. And uh, Watkins Glen, Excedrin didn't come until 2001. That's right. I knew he had a headache deal, though, because of hitting the wall. He did have a headache. Yeah, he had a headache deal sure. after that. Uh, Jamie Philpot. That's my aunt. You're Biggest right. Philpot racing fan you could probably know. Says Matthew is uh, all in with everything he does. He's the best. Always gives 100%. Yes. Thank well, that's you. That's a good aunt. Yes. So, anyhow, right now, we're uh, take your questions and comments right here. Chime in if you'd like to. we got a lot of viewers right now. So, if you want to ask Matthew a question about... Who he's worked with and everything. Right. Or um, what he's doing now. We, he's, we're, we're, we, we haven't talked about we're what he's doing now yeah. yet. So now you're at Hendrick for how long? One year. One year. Yeah, the cup racing deal, and I'll be honest, was hard on my wife um, and my girls. Mm-hmm. We worked a lot over there. <clears throat> the program was struggling as a whole. So the fix for that, Warren knows, is yeah. work more. Work more. Yeah. You know what I mean? Work hard. Work, work harder. harder. Yeah, work smart. Harder. Work yeah. smarter. And, and harder. okay, so I got to ask you because um, we watched this transpire also as NASCAR changed some rules. Uh, certain teams got rid of interior people, and 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 all of a sudden there was no interior guys at the racetrack. You had one interior guy doing three cars yes. and different do. things for they tire never guys. Did that. They didn't do yeah, that. Not at Hendrick. No, when I was there, there was you had a, you had a tire tire guy and an interior guy. Okay, mm-hmm. but um, so the the it's set, just basically let's say it like this: it wasn't a good fit for you. No, it was not. And Jimmy mm-hmm. retiring, and and um, I didn't know I had to get family was my number one. Thing. Right, which is good. Which you should be. So to be home at five six o'clock at night was mm-hmm. more important to me than working till nine o'clock. Right. And, Every night, and, especially when you get the same results. I don't mean they're in a better. Correct. Okay, I, I just couldn't do it no more. Okay. And so we had to make a change. And um, yeah. Well, how do we? How did you call? Or they call? They called me. Yeah. So so Joe Gibbs Racing. So, so yeah. let's, let's work into it. Where are you at now? Joe Gibbs Racing on the twenty for Harrison Burton. On the on the twenty Xfinity car for Harrison Burton. Yep. Give us a little volume yeah. in your voice. Okay. And sure. and I'll and sit up. and <laughs> for yeah. work. Oh, <laughs> see, that's have you heard that's, that? that's like I yeah, oh yeah, you tell me that all the time. <laughs> and on, and they like called you. Tonight. They called you. Right, they did. Yeah, I was. Well, they knew. They knew you were maybe yep. fishing. Yes, sir. Yeah. Let's just say it like that. We all go fishing with our with our jobs. Just well, an see. opportunity arises, and to work, like I said, being blessed from Childress to Hendrick to Coach Gibbs, it's like right. Some people got to go down to. Lower teams, budget teams, to get to just and, to keep going in the racetrack and so to come just, back. Absolutely, right? absolutely. So, so you went from Childress to Hendrick to Gibbs. To Gibbs. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. You, yes. Yes. And you're a ball player. Yeah. So what would you call that? Uh, what a home run or a grand slam? I would call it a grand slam. Or at least, I mean, it's at least a triple. It's a standing triple. Stand up triple. Yeah, I hit the ball in the gap. And just kept running. <laughs> okay. So, so how long have you been at Gibbs now? Uh, going on two years. All right. Yep. So your job there is? Interior and tires. For? For Harrison. And you guys have done mm-hmm. well? Yeah, won a few races, four races last year. What's he like? I mean, he's a he's, young kid. Oh, man, he's great. You can tell that. What, he, what is it about him that makes you think is going to make him a, 
Future star. He's yeah. got drive, man. Passion. Oh my gosh, he works his butt off. How so? I mean, people say how driver in the gym, it? on the on the film, and in the simulator. simulator. I mean, this dude has got a drive, like a twenty. He's gonna be a he he gonna be race car driver. And he doesn't. Yes. Yes. All right, so do you think is is it him? Do you think his dad's behind him? Do you think I think ever. I think he's been brought up well. Right. To where, hey, your last name ain't gonna carry you as right. far as you think it is. Yeah. You're gonna have to put the work in. But he's got good teammates with Hemrick and Ty and Brandon Jones and the yeah. kids. They they all have a good work ethic together and they all drive each other. Okay. And it makes me go to work every morning to know that it's not some kid with dad's Liberty Financial money or Liberty or what is it called? Lim, whatever bank is sponsoring them. And we don't know. say it as we don't necessarily you could call it a, <laughs> what is that, a that? daddy's bank. Or daddy's bank. Yeah, yeah, just say daddy's bank. So, right. <laughs> so. so that's that's kind of what I was getting at because I want to know because he does come from a racing pedigree. Yeah, his dad. But yeah. he doesn't just walk in and go, hey, I'm here, I'm a bird. No, but I know Jeff. You know Jeff. Oh, yeah. And Jeff's probably telling him, hey, you, if you yeah. want this, you got to work for it. Yeah. And yeah, I bet you Kim's telling I, I, Somebody's, yeah. I would say Kim more than Jeff, I bet. Really? Yeah. Yeah, if she's stomping her feet during the race, yeah, she's gosh. very passionate yes. about. But that's what makes you want to work for somebody. Sure. I'd rather work for somebody like that that is going to put the effort. That in. wants it absolutely. Uh, Kirk Kirk Anderson, who's that? Oh, that's a friend from a long time ago. That's my older brother Lee's good friend. Got it. So it's a way to go, Matt. It's been awesome to watch you grow through your career. I still remember the stock in 99 days every weekend. Great job, bud. Yeah, thank there you, you very much. Yeah. Uh, James Bender. Oh, I'd never heard of him before. <laughs> 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 Good uh, Bender, shoebox, uh, yeah. productions. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> a story about Bender. Go ahead. No, no, no. probably knows. Go ahead. We gotta be nice here. No, no, no. <laughs> Bender's back all of a sudden went out before the Coke 600 when he was on Newman's deal. Yeah. He yeah. called me in from the bullpen to do his tires. How many <laughs> sets of tires you got for the 600? About 16? Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't when know. You had to do them? Or yeah. when you were children? Yeah, Jimmy just said, I got my, my back shirt, Phil Puck. Can right. you go for me? He, his stuff usually leaks. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Way back then. Well, anyhow, he said about you, a good guy right there, help me out of Help me out at times. Yeah. Which refers to the six hundred. <laughs> oh, it's a six hundred. Bender. Oh, 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 you have any spasms? We have Bender on. And I got yeah, work, did you? And, yeah. I got, and I got family in town. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy's a good guy, man. That's good. Really good guy. Um, who's one person? And we talk about people help out. Who's one person that inspired you? Learned a lot from. Oh, who's man, learned a lot from in your career? So many. Um, Give me your top three. Man, my dad, and my grandfather are right. top okay. to my. I mean, they're my heroes, man. As far as a. They weren't the best, probably, at telling you how to do it, but they were the work ethic that they have still to this day mm -hmm. is ungodly. So I think that's where the work ethic part come from. But right. um, no, Stockman, man, he taught me a lot. Is, about is, it. is Danny uh, one of your favorites in the sport now? Is yes. he your? Is he your? Yeah, uh, uh, junior. Uh, you know, Danny. I, I've had a few mentors in this sport. Is, is, is he your mentor in the sport? Yeah, I would say okay. that. Danny's passion is and, and And Danny is beyond passion. Yes. From Danny Stockman, too. Yes, the crew absolutely. Team. By far, Danny probably is one of them that really took me under his wing and said, man, any, and it wasn't always cupcakes and whatever. You know, right. you know, no, 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 no. Yeah. Right Daniel, Daniel, yeah. Daniel, chew your ass yeah. and yeah. Uh, uh, 15 minutes later, yeah, he'll buy you dinner. Yes, I'd say Junior. Oh, man, I can go on and on. Randall Burnett. Yep. Danny Stockman, Junior Joiner, um, sure. a lot of them guys have really put me under their wing. Nice, um, well, good, and they're all good people. I the they're all very successful. The reason they do that because one, you're willing to learn. Yes. You come in going, I don't know everything. Yes, and if you're willing to learn, then that people pick up on that. Yeah. I can teach. Oh, yeah. By the way, Bender said enough. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I ever teach anything? Uh, yeah, yeah. You taught me how to drink more. Yeah, right. <laughs> We shared a few um, beers outside Phoenix Hotel. We had all that. Phoenix Hotel. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. the Slough. The Slough. Yes, the slough. Yes, the slough. <laughs> uh, my buddy. Brad, Brad Neen says Bud. Oh, yeah. Uh, What's that? I think he's referring to a guy that used to work in Ohio. Okay. Yeah, Got we it. don't speak of him. Okay. Yeah. Got it. All right. Yeah. We don't speak of him. Brad knows. So, oh, yeah, that hotel in Phoenix, it was like you went straight out of the track. Sure, just before you got to the highway right there. And yeah, there right after restaurant. the Mexican restaurant. Yeah. We went to dinner and then came back. Yep, yeah. and walked back <laughs> over. And then you sat by the fire and drank high life. Outside, yes. yeah. Maybe a cigar. Maybe a cigar yeah, or, or, of, uh, or a rally, rally, whatever you want. And the yeah. Cincinnati Reds uh, spring training. It was on the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. See, I used to get stuck over at the wigwam. 
that's I stay there now with kids. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Nice. Yes. You have moved on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every time I was at shows, like, where are you standing? I said, I gotta go. We should put the pilots in. <laughs> I wouldn't tell them where, and you're at the wig mom, and you're sitting in the pool, walking a beer, awesome. watching TV. Yeah. Like, where? Are you? I'm like, oh, Luce, really you don't even know where your room is. Sometimes. No, I don't. One time I had like a house. Like, yeah. I'm <laughs> private. I go, yes. what is this? It's like, awesome. What am I supposed to do in here? Yeah. All right, here we go. Seth. Chapka, how about them Packers? Oh, oh Seth. Who's Seth? Seth, so we're sharing this now. So Seth lying. is a engineer at Gibbs. Okay. Who worked with us at uh, RCR. Did he, did he work right. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He's a great guy. He's uh, asking how about them Packers, probably because of the Aaron Rodgers situation going on right now. Got it. So he's which, needling you? I don't care. Sit him on a bench. <laughs> and, yeah. Whatever. We don't play that game. That's right. That's fine. Seth, love you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so you. Now, you're there. How old are you now? 35. 35. So, you've been in the sport for 11? Yeah. 11 years. Yep. Good for you. And what do you, what do you, what do you think, like, down the road? What are you, what are you looking at? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't okay. know. Okay. You're just happy? Yeah, to, just happy to so be So, what is it about Gibbs? Because, I mean, everyone talks about a great organization. What is it that makes that organization so good and so successful? It's a family deal. You can tell that it's been brought up. But JD, losing JD really yeah, brought That bonded think, you all, yeah. Um, but... Yeah, just a great place to work, man. They put a lot of time and effort into their equipment. You can tell they, they spend a lot of time in making sure the people that work there are felt like family. Hmm. So so uh, it's not one of those places you just walk in and just clerk no, and check. No, everybody knows everybody. It's a good group. So good deal. Yeah, I, 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 it's a good place to work, man. I'm hmm. really, really happy to be there and be a part of something that's that tight knit. You know, I always say there's there's a there's a half a dozen places now you want to work. You know, and and maybe not even a half a dozen anymore. I don't, yeah, I don't even know. You want to work at Penske. You want to work at Gibbs. You want to work at Hendrick. You want to work at Childress. Stuart Haas. You want to work at Stuart Haas. Right. You know, that's yeah. five. You know, yeah. but everyone's and, looking for that. And, and Roush is, right. would be okay. six. That's yeah. that's it. Yep. That, that's and that's on the upper tier. Then you got to go. You can go with college racing. There, absolutely. Well, and, 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 and those are all. Right. I'm sure those are all good places to work. But you know. I if think you want to be competitive. I think if you want to be successful on Saturday, Friday, Saturday, you got to have KBM is successful, I believe, because absolutely because JGR. Of, yeah and TRD and TRD. Oh yeah, but which is, which is good. You know, but Hendrick is Junior Motorsports is successful because of Hendrick, of Hendrick Motorsports. Yeah, you know, and then obviously Austin Cindric runs really well yeah. because it's because of Penske. Well, there's one car in that shop too, and his main focus is their main focus on that Xfinity deal is that one car. Yeah, but it's. He doesn't have anybody he can feed off of, unfortunately. And that's hurts. That's, that, that that makes him really that, good, though, that, because he is he's good. He's a damn good road racer, I'll say that, gosh, man. But you're and he's done pretty good at road at uh, uh, Dover. Also, yeah. uh, Ronnie Hornaday third said, uh, "Happy to see you doing so well. Always good to see good people doing good." Things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad, go. my dad, and Ron, uh, Ron Hornaday raced against each other back in the day. And so that's a Hall of Fame so, endorsement. Son. 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 That's pretty good. That's good. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah I made good. it. Good sure. to see you, R3. Nice to see you, R3. Yeah, we yeah. love Ronnie. Yep. Uh, we've had oh, a lot. Yeah. Um, okay, so your day to day, so you're working until you're normal. normal. Yeah, six to four. Six to we four. Six to four, right. and we usually load up on Wednesday nights. Sometimes Thursdays have Fridays off, and then now with the pandemic, we race on Saturdays. So, right. so Question Word, Best part about travel? Oh, the, the restaurants in this house. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Like just yeah. the places that you don't even. Yeah. I never yeah, understood you landing. Oh, we're going to go to Arby's. What? No. Yes, right. Right. What? No way. Exactly. No way. No. no, no I, I, I don't do that either. No, I'm not so doing that. Find yeah. somebody. So you, you find the local places. Absolutely. Yeah, there's, there's always some place you land that you're you going to go and get, like, I'm a wing guy. So yeah. it's always, I'm going to, I want to go get wings <laughs> right. somewhere. Yes. Or, uh, I, you know, I want to go get a piece of pizza somewhere. Or different. Or, not, not a chain. I don't want to do the chain. No, no, no. There, there, there's some Unless it's in and out. Oh, that place gives me heartburn. I don't care. Okay. Right. I don't care. Right. I just phoned four hours. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to get Wendy's. <laughs> no. Right. No. I can do yeah. it. All right. The worst part about the travel. Being away from my family. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's the hardest part. And that's a lot of people. Like, oh my God. You well, you miss. You have the best seat in the house. They go. You know what you see on pit road? You see this. Yep. That's it. Just, but you just miss dance that. recitals. You miss gymnastics. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. You miss softball right. games. You miss. Right. I mean, sometimes you go to the Vegas ten day deal and your kids are different. And, when yeah. You get yeah. Home. Yeah. You. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I always said that, you know, I, I remember traveling and my, when my kids were babies and I'd come home and I was like, they got bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Do what you feel, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, what Do you get a can of spinach in there? Right. What happened? <laughs> I can want to see my kids. Go, Who's these? They're juggling. <laughs> they're juggling. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> yeah. Now they're driving. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, that's good. 
Oh man, I appreciate you coming on. Tonight. Absolutely, uh, Thank great you story. Me. I appreciate your your passion. Yes. And your, Cheers, uh, brother. Thank you. Your yes, everything sir. is uh, you. You are the epitome. Of what if I had a team, I would definitely want you on the other. To me, that. he's the epitome of of someone who put his passion towards this sport mm. and has went to Sandusky, Ohio, and from California went to Sandusky, then came to North Carolina, then bounced from Childress. To Hendrick, now at Gibbs, right. and, and I won't say bounce because it's just how the, it, it, yeah. well, it's just how the chips fall, right? And and especially in in so your era, fun. in your era, you 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 came to a point where you can't work for these places for ten years. It's hard to work for a right. place for ten years. Yeah, anymore. sure. It's just hard, right. and and so I I I commend you. Um, I've always liked you. From the day Good. I met you yeah. at, at Childress, and, yep. and I yeah. think you're a great guy. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate you guys, what you're doing. All right. Uh, here's one. Sean Shears. That's that's like my second dad. Okay. <laughs> he said he's not my blood, but he's my little brother for 20 years. There ain't no quitting that kid. Promise you. He's pissed when we don't win, and I love it. Let's get that 20 back to VC. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yeah, go. thank you, Sean. Sure. Love there you, brother. All right. So as you can tell, he's a good guy. We appreciate it. Okay, everybody. Saturday. Uh, we will be at Lake Norman Patio Game Room, yep. noon till one. Come on out. We're going to have some freebie stuff. We are? Yeah, we're bringing freebies. Oh, free, freebie stuff, right? And uh, uh, Tom Beatty's going to be there. And uh, don't forget that foosball table, Lake Norman Patio Game Room. Only 500 bucks is one one person takes it. There you go. go and the money you save, you get to buy our merchandise. That sounds good. And we'll beers at somewhere afterwards. We might go to Big Alger. Or we know where we'll find out what's going on. We'll come back here and have a big party. Everyone's. And we'll jump in the pool. I'm in the pool. That's fine. Or jump in the neighbor's pool. Right. Yeah, who cares? You'll be or gone. jump the neighbor. <laughs> You'll be gone. That's it. The neighbor in your pool, buddy. All right. Appreciate everybody. Have a great one. And oh, wait, 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 wait. The camp. The wife. He makes us very proud and we love him so much. Thank you, Dad. Uh, there you go. Head close you. Look. On that note, you close on should that. we say? Good night, Dick. Good night, Dick. Thanks, everybody. See ya. Wow. Hey, another great show. Great Thank show. you so much, everybody, yep. for tuning Enjoy in. It. We appreciate it. We do this every Tuesday night, and Warren, I think the guests we've had have been fantastic. Phenomenal. And the people that are following us, we appreciate it. We're reaching 42,000 people a month. Can you believe that? And uh, we appreciate you watching. And, uh, We're having fun. Hope everybody else enjoys it. That's it. And this is just a fun show, bucket of beer, guys sitting around talking about it. So keep tuning in. We appreciate it. Check out our store and everything. But um, we appreciate you people, and uh, we will see you next week. Right, my friend? Yes, sir. All right. See you next week.